Good evening everyone, we're going to do a quick video tonight to show you how to use Kahoot and the reason for that is that in assembly this week we are going to be using Kahoot to share a quiz with you all. So I'm going to play Kahoot, you guys get to respond at home using your phones or your device as an answer pad and we're going to show you in this video how to do that. But of course if you think, ah you know what, it's another web based application, it's another thing that we have to do, that's fine. You can just get paper, pen, it's cool, you can just join in the old fashioned way and just see how many you get correct. But if you want to kind of see how you're doing on the leaderboard, that sort of thing, this video is for you so that you can see how to use Kahoot. It is super easy, it is free, you don't have to create an account, you don't have to sign in, anything like that. Although if you do want, you can make your own account, you can make your own quizzes and challenge your friends and family. It is great fun and I really hope that this video is helpful and that you enjoy it. Because you know what, we are continually trying, we're continually trying to make things better for you and more fun for you and more engaging for you. And that's really what we want to do at Assembly as well. If you're not in our school and you just want to find out a bit more about Kahoot, that is also okay, of course. Um, this video will hopefully show you what to do if your teachers or um, someone you know starts to use Kahoot. So let's head into Kahoot and see what it's all about. So here we are in Kahoot. Um, the window that you can see in my web browser, that is what you'll see in the assembly. I'll share that um, screen to you. So that should be all you see on your screen on the device that you're watching the assembly. Now, if you only have that device, you can minimize the assembly and open up Kahoot in a different browser. And that's absolutely fine, but it does make it a bit trickier to see what's going on. I'll show what I mean by that. Um, but over on the right hand side, you can see my phone. Now, I've got two ways of accessing Kahoot. As you can see on the web browser, it says join at www.kahoot.it or with the Kahoot app. So I've got the Kahoot app here. On the Kahoot app, you can, down at the bottom where the little arrow is pointing to, you can enter your PIN. Um, you can create if you want, create your own Kahoots. You don't have to have an account at all to do this. Um, you, you don't have to log in in any way. You can just have the app, absolutely fine. The other option, is just going through the web browser. So I've got Google Chrome open, I put in kahoot.it and I just get this game pin option. Now I'm gonna go into the app just because I prefer it, um, but really the experience is exactly the same in either. So if I click on the enter pin, you'll see I get exactly the same screen I had on the web browser. And on the screen that I've shared with you, the, the internet browser, the one that you'll get in assembly, it has a game pin up at the top and the game pin for this, um, for this moment in time, is 307106. So I'll put that into my phone. Now that won't be the game pin later on, so no one's gonna come and join this just now. Only the people that are actually looking at the Kahoot itself at the time that you're playing it will be able to join. So we don't have to worry about security or anything. Now it does have nickname and I'm gonna put in a name here. It can be a nickname, it could be a team name, a family name, but please note that anything rude at all, I just need to click on it and that's you removed from the game and you won't be able to continue playing. Now obviously we have got younger viewers um, in the assembly as well, we need to be very mindful about our name. So I think it's best if we really stick with our own name or a family name or a, a nice nickname that works for you, that people will know who you are. So I'm just going to go with Mr F. So I'm the only person in this game. Obviously in the assembly, I'll give you a time limit to join by. Um, I'll share the code several times. I'll give you time to get used to this. But once the time's up, once everyone's in, I will just start the game. So let's go to start. As soon as I start it, you'll see that my phone screen is going to change. Now this is a quick quiz on animals. So I'm just gonna compete this against myself. I should hopefully know the answers. I've made this quiz um, a couple of years ago, but see how you do at home. I'm, I'll give it for the time limit each time. I'll be slow. So animals, quiz one, you can see on the right hand side, my phone screen has changed. And I'll read out the questions as we go. So question one, what is the record age for a giant tortoise? Is it red, 55 years old, blue, 255 years old, 155 years old is yellow and green is 355 years old. You'll notice on the left hand side, we've got a timer ticking down. And on my phone, I only get the colors, which is why it's useful to see um, what is actually on the screen. So you know which color relates to which answer but I will read out what answers 
um, what answers are what colours while you go. But it's just so you can be that bit quicker because your points are scored out of a thousand based on how quickly you answer. So you'll see, because I took my time answering that, 592 points, not bad, but not good either. I want to be as close to a thousand as possible. So next question. Oh, you'll see a podium as well. We only ever see the top five players on this. So if you're really embarrassed because you're in last place, you'll probably know how you're doing. Um, it normally shows you on, on your phone, but everyone else won't know. Only the top five people will be visible. So next question. Question two, which is the largest lizard in the world? Um, Iguana is red, Komodo dragon is blue, Nile monitor lizard is yellow, and Gila monster is green. I think it's the Komodo dragon. I might be wrong. No, I am right. Good. Komodo dragon. And again, we get our leaderboard. People might change. It might tell you someone's got an answer streak. A blue whale can blow its spout as high as a 10 floor building, one floor building, six floor building, or three floor building. Uh, I think six. I'm probably wrong here. It's probably three. Oh, I'm clicking on the web browser. That's really silly. It is three. Um, okay. Oh, well, I made a mistake. Boo-hoo. That's okay. No points for that. So I stay the same and no doubt someone else would, would move up. I need to remember to click on the phone and not on the, on the internet. It's a bit confusing seeing the questions on my device and have the answers at the same time. Normally, I only do one or the other. So I didn't move at all. My point stayed the same. Question four. What is the adult what is the name of an adult male gorilla? Is it red silver king, blue silver back, yellow silver bull, or green silver bell? Hmm, I wonder. Wonder who's gonna get this one at home if you're watching this. Blue, silver back. So you'll see I got more points for that because I was quicker than the, the first question. Let's click on next and keep going. Well done, Mr. F, you're doing well. Question five, what type of animal is a bat? Is it a mammal? Red, blue is a dinosaur, yellow is a reptile, and green is a bird. Now, lots of people actually get this wrong. A mammal gives birth to live young, and it has fur on its body, so it is a mammal. Lots of people think it's a bird or a reptile. Hopefully no one thinks it's a dinosaur. Question six, what part of an elephant's body has over 100,000 muscles but no bones? Is it red, the tongue, blue, the trunk, yellow, the tusks, or green, the ears? I'll let you tick down for a wee bit. See if you can answer that if you're watching this video. It is blue, the trunk, of course. Okay, question seven, what are baby porcupines called? Are they called red porcupips, blue porcupops, yellow porcupets, or green porcupops? Good question, because I've forgotten. I think it's porcupups green. Ooh, it's not. It's porcupets. Ooh, I've made two mistakes on a quiz that I wrote. This is a good job. Hmm, maybe I'll just have to cut some of this out of the final video. Probably not. Question eight, from how far away can you hear a lion's roar? One mile, 20 miles is blue. Sorry, one mile was red. Yellow is five miles and green is 10 miles. I think it's, I'm gonna get this wrong. I'm gonna get three wrong in this quiz. I think it's five miles. Oh, I am right, good, I'm right, I'm right. Oh, tense. So I should say that the quiz you're going to do this Friday is on Scotland. So you might want to get brushing up on that Scottish knowledge. Of course, it's on Scotland because we've just, um, we've, Burns Day. Of course, we've been celebrating. So question nine out of ten, penultimate question. What African ant-eating animal can somersault away from trouble? Is it a honey badger, red, blue, a hedgehog, yellow, an aardvark? Or green, a meerkat. I know this one. It's an aardvark. Aardvark. If you don't know what an aardvark is, have a look. Google it. They're really cool animals. If you like Pokemon, and basically think of Sandshrew. Sandshrew is an aardvark. Um, and they can somersault away from, um, from trouble. So, on to the last question. After I get my points. 
question 10 out of 10 what does a skunk's spray smell most like is it red rotten eggs and rancid milk is it blue burning rubber and urine Ooh. is it yellow cow farts and rotten tomatoes or is it green dog mess and sweat it is burning rubber and urine Ugh. don't want to get sprayed by a skunk so that means and we get a podium at this point it only shows the top three people so in third place is no one because i'm playing against myself in second place is also no one because i'm playing against myself but with eight out of ten and a quiz I wrote myself and really should have got 10 out of 10, it is me. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, and for anyone that just saw that notification, you'll see that raid hour is about to start. Um, oh, I'm supposed to be there. I hope you enjoyed that. I hope that you will join us on Friday for the assembly and you'll have lots of fun in our quiz. I will see you then. Take care. Bye-bye.